Hello, I'm Michael Kirichenko. You are watching Skyway News, where we report on the developments and implementation of breakthrough transport technologies. From today's ECU, you will get to know about the state of construction of Skyway Technologies company facilities in the United Arab Emirates and Belarus, the production of rolling stock, as well as the achievements of those company divisions that do not often get into our news reports. It's about designing, creating artificial intelligence and safety. And now about all this in more detail. Installation of anchor units and half saddles designed for a horizontal load of 250 tons at both anchor supports of the first line have been completed at the Skyway Innovation Center in Sharjah. Welding work on joining U-shaped profile of the track structure has also begun. Roofing works continue at the guest house. In Belarus, all the main works on the construction of a new production complex in Sidiski Street have been finished, and now work of the Acceptance Commission is underway. This complex will allow meeting all the current needs of the engineering company developer of Skyway technology in a short time, which is required for the implementation of a number of projects in the United Arab Emirates. And now briefly about the event uniting both countries that are centers of creating the Uniski stream transport. The Unicar, in tropical design for the United Arab Emirates, is fully assembled, packaged and ready to be shipped to Sharjah in the near future. The staff of the Skyway Technologies Company Project Design and Administration continue to work out the design documentation on modernizing the track structure of second type with a length of 800 meters on site Eco Techno Park in Belarus. The main objective of this line is to optimize long span transport systems that are planned to be used in urban conditions when overcoming natural and infrastructural obstacles. Here, they also continue designing the infrastructure power supply, combined with the second truss line to provide electricity to the building of pre trip inspection, turning circle, anchor support and the traction power supply to this Skyway complex. The work is being carried out according to standards effective in the countries with a tropical climate. Work continues with the consultant on adaptation of project documentation of the second phase for Skyway Innovation Center in Sharjah, which is planned to be completed before long. At the same time, work is underway on designing the third test site on site the Research Technology Innovation Park of the Seminary. It will also be used to test fundamentally new solutions obtained after testing and optimization of the already built string rail overpasses in Belarus that will ensure durability of 100 million cycles of stressing with the design load. And this is equivalent to 100 years of service. Development of pre-project documentation on production buildings in the industrial area Shabani is completed. The process of approving this document at government agencies is underway. Developers of the Uniski Stream Transport Technology are working out and successfully testing a hardware and software product for biometric identification of people. This system's hardware records people's faces. Later, special software based on artificial intelligence executes identification of a human personality. This system allows carrying out the following at high speed and accuracy. Identification of people in an uncontrolled environment, for example, in the flow of people entering the station. Authorization of people, in other words, providing passengers with opportunities in accordance with their rights as well as tracking the passenger traffic. The capacity or passenger traffic of a station increases due to high speed and accuracy of this non-contact system. At the EcoFest held in August 2019, the creator of strain technologies Anatoly Unitsky said, Наше научное исследование и наша инженерная школа, созданная мною, как бы к нам не относились на моей родине, и впредь останутся в Беларуси. Никуда мы не собираемся отсюда уходить. Например, для тестирования отдельных условий агрегатов мы даже построили лабораторный комплекс. Он там он находится, вот тут здание за строящей шестой линией. 
Скоро там полным ходом пойдут испытания различных конструкций наших рельсов, колес, токосема, на износ, шум, долговещий сток, эксперимент даст результат. Причем это надо проехать миллионы километров, мы на трассах не можем, это только на стендах. Некоторые помещения там усилены бронезащитой, так как, например, при скорости свыше 500 км в час при разрушении тестового колеса осколки могут разлететься на несколько сот метров. Подобные случаи бывали и автомобилистов, и у железнодорожников, и мы, не хотим, и мы хотим избежать этого еще на стадии проектирования. Naturally, safety of existing skyway lines is even more important than that of test benches. It is time to announce that ballistic protection is being calculated according to the current standards and regulations to ensure safety of the design transport systems of new generation alongside with strength calculations of construction and transport structures. Using the results of highly nonlinear dynamic analysis for critical cases, we determine design solutions, thickness and parameters as well as required material properties of protective structures with the aim of providing bulletproof from portable large caliber firearms, corresponding to the highest, the 14th class of the European Ballistic Standard VPAM such as our traditional brief report on the progress in the development of Skyway technology over the past week. Follow the updates on the official Skyway website, sign up to Skyway YouTube channel, support our project, you still have time. Build Skyway. Save the planet.